far. I have one poem. I went into the museum and I saw this photograph of the Barefoot Prophet. And this is what I said. This poem is called, I went into the museum and saw the Barefoot Prophet. <laughs> Vander Z corners me with tufts of Frederick Douglass. His eyes are the color of the bloodlust, his feet running to the Y River, carrying democracy and liberation theology, looking for James Cone and Peter Gooms. He finds Howard Thurman. Living among the storm, he finds the god of color, the altos Christos, the utmost hollow he finds in his stare, the glare of Sankofa in red ochre and sienna. He finds the bitter sallow of the diorama. He finds the junkie Christ twice crucified. He finds the subway poet with no words but compression. He blows fire to the oppression. He is Quixacoto and Estevanigo. He finds all three Martins, Bernard, De Porus, and King. He finds them in between the Puritorigo, the blues people, the red people, the orange people, the sacred forest people, the people of the goat path, the people with no date. He corrects Jupiter Hammond and sends him mammon. He cogitates and vexes the perplexity of his verses he is not rehearsed, so he speaks from the pulpit of his consciousness, from the hut of mother wit. All left are his toes, each one rowing back to God, the color of lard on a spider skillet. He returns from the corner. He is ghetto from the black block of Harlem or African Square Park. He bears the mark of a saint, offering bread to Rolando Zapata the harvest of his sharecropper. He is pittance and pity. He is the rinse of the sugar maple. Surely he is able to look from beyond death, blowing his breath on a dusty history book. He shook me in a trance. Thank you.